have seen before my Mila Revolution 5000 vacuum cleaner. The one with the electronic hose, electronic handle and little electronic turbo brush. However, as you may have seen in the SIBO Duo P video, my Mila suffers from what all of these do, which is a dodgy hose. It's vacuuming along. Let me watch it not do it now. There we go, but we'll be happily pulling it away. Oh, it won't do it now, you watch. Oh, I'll turn it off. It suffers from the hose issues. It knows that I'm doing this video and it's going to behave, but it needs looking at. And I was browsing eBay the other day when I thought I'd just buy a load of dominoes and throw all the vacuums in a skip. Let's have a look at my pizza. Yes, hello my fatty chums, how are you today? In this episode we are going to eat an entire box of cheese and see how we feel about ourselves afterwards. We can use the mealer to clean up the sick that will invariably happen. No, 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 this little mealer is bound from the lock specifically because of what is in this box. Happened upon it. Just idly browsing eBay the other day and went, oh my goodness, and hit buy. Because in this box is some meaner stuff. Yes! We have ourselves. A ah, little sneak peek of that out the way. A, oh my god, a hose. Oh, I know where my machine came from. My machine's only had. One owner. Wow, this is certainly a lot worn than my machine. But in theory, it, if it works, I don't care. Let's have a quick go at it, see if it works. Well, the handle's lit up, and this is where it goes. Ooh. And obviously there's no hose, there's no power attached. Oh, ah, <laughs> just, oh God. Just notice that as well. Okay, this is absolutely filthy, but I think it may work better than this hose. One thing I've also realized is that this one's missing one of its clips. This one has both. So I think as horrible as it is, if I'd swap the casings around, it may not be too bad. And quite honestly, I just want a working hose. So we're going to put the original slightly iffy hose away. And we shall put the new one on. And give that a whirl. Now, inside the box, we also have another electric wand. Significantly more worn than this one. Crikey. But an electronic one nonetheless. And yeah, these don't come apart, don't come along too often either. Let's see if it works. We'll catch it up to my SEB. It knows my EBO2 even, not a SEB. And yep. That works very nicely indeed. But the wand was not the reason I went for this, quite honestly. The hose was only a sort of, all, oh, and as well, that would be handy job. No, what actually caught my eye was inside this box is something which I've been wanting to have a play with for a while. An EB01. Yes, this is the full toolkit for the one above this, the Red Revolution 5500. With this, the EB01 monstrous brick of a powerhead. And this is the first time I've seen it, actually. That's in mint condition. 
the brush rolls normally wear right down. It uses apparently, and I've seen no reason to disbelieve it, a Miele upright motor and brush roll assembly. And yeah, came with the top of the line one. I thought, oh, I've always fancied to go with one of these. And obviously the machine is quite hard to come by. I paid 20 pounds for me hose one and EBO one. And as long as it works, well, I'm quite happy with that. Let us see. That's going to be a thing that we can do. Although, ah, it is broken. I just noticed this. This is supposed to have a recline lock. And there is just no resistance there at all. Which isn't the end of the world, I must say. I, I would take that over it, you know, not working at all. But it is there nonetheless. Let's put it through some deeper pile carpet. So we'll get the old test pile out and already I've noticed that this is all coming apart it's all broken look but that's fine I can swap the cosmetics around to make a much better hose oh, I don't mind pushing that it's here I need to push Ooh. if I turn the lights off See the LED a lot more. Even off, it's not doing terribly terrible in itself. So there is the seb the EB1. EB2 does feel a lot nicer. Oh, but not the suction down, it isn't quite as smooth to use because obviously it doesn't have adjustable height wheels like a proper upright vacuum cleaner really but you know both are going to be better I'd imagine than this quite worn out and tatty cat and dog head oh let's just turn some lights back on oh. Terrible. Uh, yeah. so this is a particularly fine example of this floor tool anyway. This is one of the ones that I got as scrap because the head's all broken and yeah it's it's worn. But equally, you could also just use a straight suction head. Oh. Then turn the suction down. And you know what? It tickles the fibres quite well too. But having never used one of these heads before, because I mean, regular viewers to my channel will know, we have had a red Miele 5500 before, but it was all the connections were blown in the wand, and yeah, it was just scrap. And now I get the best of both worlds, because I only need one power unit, and that is this. I can now play with all of these and do deep cleaning like this. I'm going to put the machine on it in the lowest setting for suction. Oh, bit of slow powering. Stop. Turn 
said. It is a bit of a beast, and I look very much forward to. Well, I've just done it, I don't mean the floor to all refurbs. I've just refurbed look at this. This doesn't need a refurb, but I now have the two power heads that were sold in the UK. This one is a lot more common than this one, but these are about and as disgusting and as disgusting and not great as that is it should clean up okay i mean hopefully this will start to work a lot better it's not springing back so it won't go back down until it resets itself that's a problem but i'm not going to use it very much i only really wanted it because i fancied it i've always wanted one of those heads and it just so happens that for my 20 pounds i got very lucky and I now have a spare electro wand, which is going to be phenomenally handy, because like I say, I've had these before, with all the pins on the wand blown. So I got that, and yeah, I now have two electronic hoses, and I think the vague idea is going to be I'm going to clean the filthy hose out, which is going to have to be done by hand, because you can't fully take the ends off, and then swap the casing with this one and see if the hose problem goes although mine seemed to work absolutely fine during this video but equally i know that i would go to use it tomorrow get a couple of paces and this would just die but hopefully not for much longer so we'll get all those they don't really have anything to do with this here we are 20 pounds i am quite pleased with that, I've got myself a new overkill, massively overkill, power plus head unit to go with my existing vacuum cleaner, which will save me a fair bit of money. And I can use this once more because I like the S5. Do like them indeed. So, there we go, really. I just thought I'd open some scrap that I bought from eBay and you guys watched it. Thank you very much indeed. Um, yeah, actually, I've just noticed. Did you know that the mouldings on these are the same? Because look, there's the cutout. But the Electro Plus doesn't do it because it definitely doesn't stand up. This, this should go click. Oh, there it is rattling about. We're not going to take it apart in this video. I'm going to use it first. I shall have it apart another day. So, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I, and probably this stuff, will see you soon. Bye-bye.